Welcome to CHIPS, Charts and Instruments in Pathology for Students. I hope from the screen, you will be able to make out what I'm going to talk about. Yes, it's a lumbar puncture needle. The importance is given over here and it can be asked in any of the clinical subjects as well as in pathology. As mentioned earlier, this can be part of the theory as well as survivor. CSF is an important question for you people for which this shall be forming part of the answer. As mentioned earlier, there is always a needle and a stillet. So there is a needle over here and within it, there will be an adjustable stillet. This will be removed and then you find that the fluid starts dropping. The common sites are L3 and L4 or L4 and L5. Generally, these sites are chosen because the spinal cord ends so that there is no direct damage to the spinal cord. And between L3 to L4, it is not the bone that we are piercing, but the intervening tissue. And there are a couple of needles I will not be going into the detail. They are atraumatic and traumatic. Some needles you find that there is a relatively blind tip, whereas in another there is an open tip and this can cause some damage. But it is beyond my purview to go into the efficacies of each. Also, there are the disposable needles nowadays. There can be reusable or disposable needles. So this is again a picture of it and there will be a stillet within. All the needles will be having a stillet to prevent a damage to the tissue. And the indications, that's why this particular slide is for. I was very surprised when a student answered spinal anesthesia, but then I realized that this should be the first. So spinal anesthesia can be one. CSF analysis, of course. For cytology, to rule out any infection, inflammation, or malignancy. So the sample will come to pathology. Sometimes therapeutically, they'll be giving a chemotherapy, intracranial chemotherapy, and the administration is by lumbar puncture. Microbiology, the material is needed for culture and sensitivity. That is why the CSF should be collected in three different containers and sent to the concerned departments. Biochemical analysis the sugar, the chloride, etc., all need to be analyzed. Sometimes to rule out a subarachnoid hemorrhage, the moment you put on a needle, you get blood. That means the patient is having a hemorrhage. And of course, specific in conditions such as tuberculosis, where we can get a cob formation in the CSF, confirmed by acid fast staining, syphilis, cysticercosis. These are all certain things. So I would like you people to have this in your mind because these can be asked, what is the indication for doing a CSF analysis? Please do answer. The procedure, I shall not be going into, the patient is supposed to be in a C-shaped position so that there is the pairing of the vertebrae and the intervening tissue is exposed and you go directly into the intervening space. Sometimes there can be complications because of CSF. One of the complications is infection. That is why just like bone marrow, it is done under very sterile aseptic precautions. Bleeding can be present. Cerebral herniation, there also, the amount of fluid that you take must be limited. Otherwise you find that the medulla oblongata can come into the foramen magnum and cause an obstruction. There can be minor neurological problems and there can be a therapeutic indication or introduction of the tumors as such. Back pain, a very common complication. These are all minor, but please do remember infection, bleeding, cerebral herniation. These will be the three important things that we should have in mind. So these are the list of preparation that we should be having before doing a lumbar puncture. What are the differences? 
I have shown you a couple of needles over here. One is thin, long, slender. In fact, you can bend it also because it passes through the soft tissue. This is the lumbar puncture needle. Whereas in another, you I find that the needle is thick, short, stout. So this is a bone marrow aspiration needle. Why I am saying this is students generally mix up both and write one for the other. I would like you to remember these. So laurel for lumbar puncture he is tall, lean and thin. And the other fellow is short and stout, hardy. Please remember these two. See you in tips three.